We continue to follow breaking news from the Grand Princess cruise ship where a passenger has died from the coronavirus. This is video from a Pittsburgher on board that ship, which has been ordered to stay off the coast of California while passengers wait to be tested. Good evening and welcome to those who are streaming us on CBSN Pittsburgh. I'm Stacy Smith and I'm Susan Copen. We have team coverage on the coronavirus tonight. Brenda Waters talk with experts about discussing the disease with children. But first we have Pam Serrano who talked to the local family on that cruise ship. Pam. Yeah, Susan, Stacy, Kathy Wisniewski's sisters and brothers-in-laws are aboard the Grand Princess cruise ship. She has been communicating with them through the messenger app WhatsApp, and we have been communicating with them as well just within the last half hour via text. Now, just this afternoon, her family and passengers on board were told they needed to be confined to their rooms aboard the Princess cruise ship. So here is the latest. Here is that exclusive video to KDK News that we have received from on board the ship. Again, we have been told that CDC coronavirus kits were air dropped to passengers. I've been communicating by text with one of the couples from Pittsburgh who tells us 82 of the previous passengers have been tested and they expect the results of those tests to be available tomorrow. Now, this all began when a cruise ship passenger died from coronavirus on Wednesday. That passenger was reportedly aboard the ship on the previous cruise from San Francisco to Mexico late, late last month. Some of the passengers were on board both cruises. Now, I just received another text from on board the cruise ship from Jim Somerville. He is one of the couples from Economy Borough that's on that ship, and he is telling me now that there are at least 20 or so people on board the ship who are sick. They don't know with what. They are testing all of them and they expect those test results to be back soon. They are not in panic mode at this point, but they are extremely concerned. And as we receive more texts and information from you, we'll pass it on to you in our later newscast. Reporting live, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.